for me, the most important thing that I've learned、um, from this whole pandemic is to take time for myself. So take mental breaks and stretch when needed. So when you are in in class online, you are more engaged. I also find that if you take notes during your virtual courses, that helps you、um, stay engaged as well. And for me, I always try to make like a segment out of my week just to do something that I like, whether that's going on walks.、Um, Cooking some of my favorite foods, seeing my friends, etc. Just doing something for yourself so that you are not worn out by the pandemic. What I like to do is prepare for the day as though I was, I am going into class or going into work. That way, I get in that correct mindset. I get dressed for work. I get I. Just drink my coffee, have a bowl of cereal in the morning. To、so、really make sure you like you set a schedule,、um, because that will help stay on top of things.、Um, so whether you actually like write a thing, write write your things out, or plan your day ahead of time,、um, that's like a really short way of making sure you're dedicating enough time to、uh, your studies and things like that. Have a routine, have a schedule set up, and kind of try to follow everything, and give ourselves also like breaks in between. You have to use a calendar. Because you're gonna, you know, ultimately you're not going somewhere to get to class. You know, you have to use a calendar. You have to、um, just be organized enough to say, okay, well, I have class at six.、Uh, I can't do this at five thirty. I think my biggest piece of advice for remote learning is just to have a positive attitude about it. This is definitely a very new situation for all of us, no matter if you're a freshman or a senior. So just kind of going with the flow and. Just seeing what works best for you. Reach out to someone and never be afraid to ask for help if you're struggling.